I'm doing mine for the evolution of metal music. So all of these records have one thing in common, they all fall under the metal genre. And metal can be used as like an umbrella term for all of its subgenres because you have you can go from like hair metal to new metal to black metal. Um, and it can go all the way from Led Zeppelin to like Slipknot. Um, and all of these records are examples of the subgenres I'll be covering. So I'll be starting with early metal. I don't have a record for early metal because I'm not really a fan. Um, but then I have, I'll be moving on to hair metal, glam metal. Uh, so it'll be this Motley Crue record. And then I'll be moving on to industrial metal, which is this Rob Zombie and White Zombie record. And then I'll be moving on to Norwegian black metal with this Mayhem record. And then I'll be talking about Corn at the very end, who is part of the metal. Okay, and this is just a timeline I found of kind of like how all the metal genres started from 1966 all the way down to 2000 and all the subgenres. Um, and then early metal music started in 1966 and kind of 1971. So the origins of the metal genre can be credited to bands such as Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. According to a Sunday Observer article published in 2021, Heavy metal came from the rock, blues, jazz, and others of its ilk. These bands were the first to down through the strings, create a heavier, darker sound that, than what was traditionally done. Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath laid the foundation for all metal genres. Led Zeppelin rose to prominence towards the end of the decade in the 60s in an article discussing, in an article discuss, discussing credited by author Bob Spitz in a book about Led Zeppelin, the antics and stereotypes seemingly tied to heavy metal to the heavy metal genre and its accompanying members found its birth in Led Zeppelin. With TVs flying out of hotel windows, creepy culture, bad behavior, and whatnot, it was easy to keep that stigma of heavy metal for the following games in the upcoming years and was not disproven. And then glam metal was from 1973 to 1990. Following Led Zeppelin's success came the rise of glam metal, popularized heavily in the 80s with Motley Crue. Glam metal, also known as hair metal, can be defined by four characteristics. In a masterclass article discussing the history and sound of glam metal, glam metal can be defined by their heavy guitar riffs with pop influence as well as their solos. It's almost always performed by men with androgynous looks such as Vince Neil from Motley Crue and Poison's Brett Michaels. They almost always have a simple lyrics that are for crowd sing-alongs at concerts such as Motley Crue's repetitive shout for the devil. Having a grasp of the pop melodies and hooks is what allowed glam metal bands to dominate the billboard charts in the 80s and 90s. While bands such as Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath originated in the UK, glam metal saw, the rise, saw their rise in the LA metal scene. Bands migrated to LA to the LA area because of larger exposure to a larger fan base as well as more opportunities for fame. The list of LA-based hair metal bands is plentiful, with most well-known being Motley Crue, Poison, and Quiet Riot. While hair metal dominated the 80s and became a staple of 80s fashion, its decline began in the later part of the decade and early into the 90s. This was due to MTV and radio stations shifting their attention away from the hair metal scene and beginning to focus heavily on grunge, another subgenre of metal, and alternative rock. Industrial metal was from 1988 to now. Starting in the late 80s as a breakout genre in the metal community, led to countless mainstream successes that you can still name today. It stylized with noisy loops, pessimistic lyrics, and abrasive vocals who made their mark on the metal genre by combining art rock with heavy aggression, according to an article published by Misha Gopalin titled Pretty Hate Machines and Beginners Guide to Industrial Music for YouDiscoverMusic.com. While its mainstream success was seen in the later part of the 80s and the 90s, it can actually be traced back to the 70s when industrial records when the industrial record slogan became industrial music for industrial people. Industrial metal hit the mainstream with Nine Inch Nails' as a downward spiral released in 1994, a multi-platinum album for an Oscar Grammy winner, Trent Reznor. The album launched the band into stardom with their songs appearing in the mainstream films such as Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and the video game Call of Duty. The success of industrial metal 
Lead front man, white zombie, rock zombie, to release his solo um, album, Hellboy Deluxe. Laced with iconic horror references as well as horror imagery and music videos. The album went triple platinum and also set the stage for Rob Zombie to pursue a career as a horror leader. And then Norwegian black metal is from 1990 to the present. While metal music has always fallen on the darker side of things, Norwegian black metal took it to a new extreme. In a Life in Norway article published by Andrew McKay, themes such as Satanism are commonplace and is often built with the anti-religious movement. Norwegian black metal is stylized with high shrieking vocals rather than the common low growl ones in the metal scene, and the production value was primitive because the music was intended only for the scene and not mainstream success. Another defining feature of the black metal scene was all of the band members, certainly in the early days of genre, went by pseudonyms famously seen in the black metal band Mayhem. The origins of the true new, um, Norwegian black metal came from a tightly knit circle called the Black Circle. The Black Circle gained notoriety. Oh, wait, sorry. The Black Circle was created in the 90s, and Mayhem was one of the leading bands involved. The Black Circle gained notoriety after the death of Mayhem's vocalist, Dead, committed suicide, and his body was photographed and sold as an unofficial album cover by a fellow band member, guitarist Euronymous. Um, a month following Dead's death, Euronymous opened a record shop held deep in Norwegian for Hell and would gather the local metal scene in the basement who would become part of the Black Circle. The group presented themselves as Satanists, which has been denied by previous members. Um, they claim it was never that serious. The ideology presented in the Black Circle was anti-society and anti-religion, specifically anti-Christianity. While it was pretty much all talk at the time, it would lead to the eight church burnings in Norway, all of which were perpetrated by the Black Circle. Mayhem is infamous in the black metal scene, specifically after the death of Euronymous by band member Bart Vikernes in 1993. Their Tribulations of a Band was portrayed in the film Lord of Chaos, which is on TV. And then New Metal is from 1994 to present. New Metal rose to prominence as the leading metal genre of Korn, a band from California, while they were formed in 1994 and released their self-titled album the same year. They achieved mainstream success with their albums Fall the Leader in 1998 and Issues 1999. What set new metal apart from previous metal genres was their combined sound of hip hop and heavy rock influenced by the growing popularity of hip hop on the East Coast and West Coast and the decades old metal genre. Korn is not the only new metal band that has achieved mainstream success. Uh, mainstream success. Slipknot, an Iowa based band, was established in 1995 and garnered a loyal following after the release of their set self-titled album, Slipknot, in 1999. They brought a different sp stage presence to the scene, one that hadn't been seen before with their masks and members identified by number. And these are my work sites.